Add an embroidered logo or a personalized design to a t-shirt in five short steps. I'll show you how to stabilize, mark, hoop stitch, and finish the embroidery. I've worked with a pigment dyed t-shirt and recommend that you pre-wash your t-shirt before doing the embroidery. And We have a simple design that has been added. All designs are going to be positioned in the same manner. The first step is to stabilize. Underneath the upper left area of the t-shirt, I've added a stabilizer, a fusible no-show mesh stabilizer. This is one of my favorite stabilizers to work with. It has a stabilizer or fusible on one side, it's lightweight, cut it into about a 5 by 6 section and press it to the underside of the left area of your shirt or wherever you're going to do the embroidery. Next, fold the t-shirt in half. My next sample has already been folded in half along the center fold area and I've matched the shoulder seams and the underarms so that I'm assured of getting the center front area. The key to marking the spot, our second step, is to use the embroiderer's buddy. On the buddy you will find markings and measurements for ladies to men's sizes. Find the ladies small, since that's the size I'm working with, both horizontal and vertical, and align the center front and the shoulder area. Mark your fabric with a washable marking pen. In addition to that spot marking, I also like to mark cross hashes. Align a ruler with a center front mark and then mark crosswise. This will help getting it square in the hoop. Speaking of hoops, the next step is to hoop the fabric. I have the larger outer hoop and I'm going to place it inside the neckline underneath the cross mark area. Then the smaller hoop, which I have a hoop grip applied on the outer area. It's a tacky tape that assures that the hoops will snug together well. I'm going to place the smaller hoop inside the larger hoop and align the cross marks with the indentations in the hoop. So you're going to have to take a little time to move the hoops around. Get them aligned as close as possible. We can do the fine tuning at the sewing machine and then snap the hoops together. Step number four is to do the embroidery. I have chosen the embroidery, placed it into my computerized unit. You can see it on my LCD screen. I've also printed out the thread chart so I know the seven colors of thread that are needed. I've used Rayon Embroidery Thread by Madeira and placed all seven colors in order on my thread rack. The first thread is in my machine. You can see that the t-shirt is nested around the embroidery hoop so that I'm only embroidering on one layer of fabric. I like to use a second layer of stabilizer, not the fusible type, just the no-show mesh, placed it underneath the hoop, and then I can finish locking the hoop into place. Again, reposition the fabric so that you're only stitching, of course, on one layer of fabric. When you lower the presser foot, you can see if you're starting in the center of the X. I'm just going to slightly move the needle position over. And now it's time to do the sewing. Seven thread colors are needed. It will take about seven minutes for this design to stitch out. And after the machine stops, we'll simply change the thread colors. But in the meantime, I'd like to show you one of the embroideries that has been complete. Use a water erasable tool to re erase the markings. This happens to have a little pen that will erase them or use water to re remove the pen markings. And then snap the design or the t-shirt, release it from the hoop. Now the two layers of stabilizer on the underside will now need to be released. Slightly remove the, release the section that has been fused down. Pull it away. And then with a curved embroidery scissors, start to trim. And I've already started to trim portions of this close to the stitching, layer by layer. After you've stitched both, or cut both of the stabilizer layers, Turn your shirt right side out and it's complete. The five steps, you're going to stabilize, mark, hoop, 
embroider, and do the final trimming. Find a full selection of embroidery notions, designs, threads, and stabilizers at Nancy's Notions. Order your supplies today.